Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, welcome to my... <laughs> okay, this is it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So when I tell people that I wrote a book called Math Without Numbers, people are usually confused. They're kind of like, huh? Math without numbers? Isn't math about numbers? And I think when people hear the word math, they're definitely thinking about like multiplication tables and the stuff you learn in school, like square roots and all the stuff that your calculator can do way better and way faster than literally any human. And that's really not what math is about. At least that's not what mathematicians study. That's not what mathematicians like to think about or do in their free time. So let me let you in on a little trade secret. This is the first thing that I like to do with my students whenever I'm teaching math. No matter what age level, grade level, whatever kind of math I'm teaching. Sorry about my drawing skills here, you guys. So this is the shape of math. This is what math looks like. Down here you have like arithmetic, basically everything you learn in school, algebra, geometry, even really like calculus is all still a part of this sort of main trunk area. And this stuff is all definitely important, but the real juicy stuff, the interesting stuff, kind of happens up here in the branches. So they really should tell you this, but the three main branches of math are topology, and that's the study of like shapes, spaces, dimensions, anything having to do with like physical form or configuration. Then there's analysis, which is about a lot of different things, but at its heart, it's really about infinity. It's about how to deal with the infinite and the infinitesimal and how to study those things responsibly, which is kind of cool. And then over here, there's algebra. Um, they use the same word as school algebra. They're totally different things. This kind of algebra is more about like structures, symmetry, uh, anything having to do with orderly relationships between objects. And this kind of math, maybe this sounds a little complicated and definitely some of it is hard, but really the basics of this, anyone can understand and just sort of get a gist for what's going on. I've taught this stuff to sixth graders. I've taught this stuff to my artist friends who thought they were bad at math because they had an evil math teacher who told them they were stupid. I don't know why they make you wait until college or graduate school to even hear about these things. I kind of think they just want to keep math exclusive because they want to pretend that mathematicians are the smartest people in the world. But anyway, up here we have modeling, like mathematical modeling. And you can think of this as kind of like the fruits of math. This is just any way that math creates applications that are useful in the real world, in science, in technology, anything like that. And it's actually pretty bizarre that math even has applications because at its heart, math is super kind of imaginary and abstract. And then finally, all the way down here in the underground area, we have foundations. And this is kind of like you can think of as the roots of math. This is like where math comes from. This is questions like who invented math and why? Is math really universal or is it culturally specific? Is math even true? Uh, are numbers real or are they just a figment of our imagination? Believe it or not, those are all actual questions that philosophers of math and historians of math debate about and write papers about all the time. And this is one of the most interesting areas. This is one of the things that got me into math in the first place. So that's my overview. That's kind of like the shape of math, the overall what math without numbers looks like. If any of this sounds interesting to you and you want to learn more, I'm actually going to be posting new videos every Tuesday about some of my favorite topics, concepts, ideas, puzzles, games, riddles, etc. from Math Without Numbers. If that sounds interesting to you, then you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're really into it, maybe check out that post notifications bell. And of course, once you've saved up those $27, you might want to order my book, Math Without Numbers. It hasn't been printed yet, but it's coming very soon, January 5th. I could not be more excited. I've been working on this for literally years. It's really short, really easy to read, no math background, necessary at all and best of all it has over a hundred illustrations illustrations on almost every page i'll show some of them right here all by one of my favorite artists emulsify check them out on instagram emulsify.art they post really cool stuff all the time this is a super fun collaboration i can't wait for it to finally be in print and in people's hands and of course it has absolutely no numbers the whole book has no numbers except page numbers they made me use page numbers I told them I didn't want page numbers, but they said we have to use page numbers. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday.